Okay, now we are going to have a look at a strategy that you can use to solve a division problem if you have both of your numbers are either two or three digit numbers. So they're quite large numbers to work with. It would be a little bit complicated for you to try and work out 896 divided by 16 as a short division because you would end up trying to do 8 divided by 16, which wouldn't work. So then you'd end up trying to do 89 divided by 16, which, you know, it's difficult for us to be able to count up by 16s or know our 16 times tables. So a more efficient way of doing it is to look for known facts or factors that you can use to help you. Now I know factors of 16 are 2 and 8 because 2 times 8 makes 16. So it's easier for me now to actually divide 896 by 2 and then divide it by 8. I'm still going to end up with 16 groups but firstly it's going to be divided by 2 and then it's going to be divided by 8 so doing it in two steps breaks the number down for me more so I do my short division the same way 8 divided by 2 9 divided by 2 would get four each but I would have one remainder and now the one remainder was one ten remainder so now I actually have 16 here 16 divided by 2 is 8 So now that I've split my number 896 in half, now I'm going to split that half into eight groups. This is the second part of my working out. So I've done this. I've used one of my factors. I've narrowed my number down to 448. And now I'm going to divide by eight. 4 divided by 8, I can't do that on its own. If I've only got 4, I can't split it into 8 groups. So I've got 0. And then my 4 remainders are going to join into my 10s here. So now I've got 44. Which I also can't do 44 divided by 8 evenly. The nearest number that I can divide by 8 is 40. So I'm going to go 40 divided by 8, which is 5. And because I've only used up 40, I'm going to have four remainder, four tens. So now I've got 48. And 48 divided by 8 is 6. So it gives me a total answer of 56. So 896 divided by 16 is 56. Firstly, I split the number into two groups, and from those two groups, I made four groups. So all up, I still would have had my 16 groups. It's just that I've done it in parts, using the factors of 16 to help me. So if you have a two-digit number that you're trying to divide by, you can look for factors of that number, divide it by one factor first. Your result, you divide then by the other factor.